My brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah Azza wa Jal in the Quran, He says, يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُ مَالٌ وَلَا بَنُونَ إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٌ On the day of judgment, no wealth, no children will be of any benefit. And these two were mentioned specifically because they're the most dearest to a person. Is there anything dearer to you than your wealth and your children? Nothing. Allah Azza wa Jal is saying the most beloved things and closest things to you, which is your wealth and children, will be of absolute no benefit to you on the day of judgment. So Allah, what will be of benefit to us? إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٍ Except who presents and comes on the day of judgment with a salim heart, with a heart that is pure and cleansed and purified. Wallahi, my brothers and sisters in Islam, if you do not learn this lesson now, you're going to learn it the day you die. Because the day you die, it is when you will most definitely realize that your wealth is of no benefit. What's it going to do to you? In the final moments when your soul is coming out of your body and departing this worldly life, you will realize that your children are of no value, of no benefit to you. What can they do? The maximum is hold your hand and pat your head. That's it. You will realize medicine and science and technology and research and all of it. There's no point. What's going to do? Your cars, your homes, your businesses, everything you own. Your friends and your contacts and your relationships and all of this. Of no benefit. Learn the lesson now. Because if you don't, Wallahi, before you leave the worldly life, you'll learn it. You'll realize that the only thing that is of benefit is your righteous deeds. That's it. Because that's going to go with you into the grave. And it's going to come out with you on the day of resurrection. And it's going to be put on the scale. It's going to follow you wherever you go. That pure heart. That pure soul. That is what is going to be of benefit. Allah tells us this in the Quran in multiple places. Allah Azza wa Jalla says, وَأَنْفِقُوا مِمَّا رَزَقْنَاكُمْ مِنْ قَبْلِ أَنْ يَأْتِيَ أَحَدَكُمُ الْمَوْتِ فَيَقُولَ رَبِّ لَوْ لَا أَخَّرْتَنِي إِلَىٰ أَجَلٍ قَرِيبٍ فَأَصَّدَّقَ وَأَكُمْ مِنَ الصَّالِحِينَ Allah Azza wa Jalla says, rush into doing good deeds. Give charity before a day comes. Before a day comes. Before that day of death comes, in which one of you would say, my Lord, give me some time, Resp extend my life a little bit more. Why? Wait, why, why? He says, for a sadaq, so I can give a sadaqah, so I can engage in goodness. So that I may be righteous, so that I may work on my heart and cleanse it and purify my soul. Because now I'm realizing there's nothing of benefit to me. The only benefit to me now is a pure heart and a pure soul. But it's too late then. وَلَنْ يُؤَخِّرَ اللَّهُ نَفْسًا إِذَا جَاءَ أَجَلُهَا Allah Azza wa Jal will not extend anyone's life if the time has come. خلاص, it's too late. Even we have from now until the day we die, Allahu A'lam when that is, in order for us to achieve a pure heart and a pure soul. That's what's going to benefit us.